So we have understood how we can pass members of one class to another class by taking an example of employee and we have used salary object and display method into my class right now with the same knowledge we can extend the concept to working on inner classes because when I when we see nested list what does that mean a list inside a list is called nested list right in the same way we can write a class within another class that is nothing but we are creating an inner class or nested class actually when these classes are useful for example if I am taking a person's data like name is date of birth so here names can name contains a single value right like Saket Raju and the, all these things age contain a single value also like something like it's 20 30 and all those things but date of birth doesn't contain single value right what does it contain month day year so in that way we have all those things so what we try to do is we try to create a class where our outer class is basically person details and our inner class will be date of birth so in that way we will try to work how does this inner classes will work so when I say inner classes or nested class or nested class it's simple we are writing a class within another class that's the only thing Oops, it's, I need to keep this caps yeah so nested class so writing a class within another class is obviously so writing a class within another class within another class is called writing a class within another class is obviously called inner class or nested class it's up to you inner classes or nested classes anything whether it is singular or plural it's fine so now we'll take this example where I want to create a person class and I want to give data birth so because generally the inner classes object is created within the outer class only but we'll try to make it how does that is possible first we need to understand how do we create the class rate we've already seen different types of methods including static class method and instance method now let's see how do we access this inner classes so first let's take this inner class example because i want to give person date of birth so uh, my task is to write a python program to understand or to create date of birth class because date of birth includes three values right I mean name I mean it includes date month and year so date of birth class within person class I mean you can write it directly as a function also but I am trying to explain it in a more general way because always when you relate to classes concept think in a general terms it will be very much easier and very much fun to deal with so I will make it class as person so class as person because already I made everything as comment here because I don't want to execute the previous script so I keep I'll always keep that thing in triple quotes because Python reads that as a dog string so now I'll write my dog string as sample demo it's up to you what you try to throw now I write my constructor so define dunder in it and I try to pass the self as the first parameter because that is mandatory when you try to address the objects within the method so I first I define name so self dot name is equal to name because I'll take it from user self dot age or date of birth whatever it's up to you so self dot date of birth is equal to because I wanted to make sure that what I have mentioned so we always try to pass generally the inner class object is created within the outer class itself so what is our outer class person what is our inner class it is date of birth class so here what do i do is i just mention self dot date of birth because date of birth will be our class so i'm directly mentioning it here instead of taking it uh, from the user let's pass it here only or you can directly make sure you already know how to take it from user if you don't mention it here you mention here self common name so here I am mentioning it as socket so I want to make about my thing it's up to you whether you take your own example so here I define display I want to see the result right so I make this method as display display of self and I write a print statement so print of I want to just mention name is so name and what is the object or what is the variable to be passed here 
that is obviously self dot name so then we are creating an inner class so that's where we need to understand why we have mentioned here self dot date of birth because we can directly give db or we can write the date of birth here but i wanted to make sure that i create an inner class so this is inner class what is your inner class name what we have mentioned here as capital dob so mention the same thing here so class of dob now we will try to create a special method which is again a constructor define double dunder in it and pass self then we go for accessing each and everything what is that self dot date of birth which includes starting with date so i give self dot date is equal to i'll give my date of birth here 26 so self dot month i just mention it as mm i mention it as 12 and i give self dot year so i just mention it as i gave 1993 so in that way i'm just passing it here again i define the same method which is so display so define display of you need not worry because you are defining same method within the same class there is no worry of overriding because this is not super and sub class when we go for inheritance concept you will understand what happens if we define constructor within the sub class just keep this thing in mind it will be very much helpful for you when you move on to the next videos so print of i just want to see the date of birth here so date of birth is i just use the format function so i gave hyphen hyphen and we go for dot format of how do you access them so self dot dd self dot mm you already know that format just go in that way itself or you can pass anything over there instead of dd mm yy i just gave in an easy manner so that you can easily recognize it now what we need to do we need to create a person class object then only we can access right so create a person class object so create a person class object then we'll see what happens over there let me give it correctly yeah so create a person class object so i just give p is equal to person so p is equal to because i gave my main class as person and now i am not passing any arguments into it because i did not mention anything in the constructor so i'll just execute this piece of code then we'll see with the directory always make sure that you always refer directory only it will be easier to go ahead because it is giving db display and name you can also see dob because that is the inner class obviously when you go for p dot you get everything over there you get first make sure you take name very good you have seen socket then p dot you want to see date of birth you give p dot db it's a main method because what is db over there what can you see over that because self dot db is date of birth you need to make sure that you call display method so p dot you need to make sure that you call display method then only you can access it p dot display you are getting name is socket because in the first thing you have mentioned name but how do you access the date of birth when you make sure that you give the db class that is date of birth class how do you do that dob so p dot whether we would like to see or not so p dot dob if i pass in this way you're getting main the person date of birth because person is a main class now we can directly see p dot whether if you try to give db again again main method but how you are able to access it whether you give as a method no dob object is not callable so you cannot do in this way so instead of that you need to make sure you create inner class object because this is for the person class when you give display here obviously you will be able to see only name you can execute it here you see name is socket but how do you do or how do you see the result of date of birth you need to create an instance for inner class object so create inner class object then only we can able to access because we'll see the same program in another way you can easily understand how do we see that so i create x is equal to what is my class date of birth but i cannot access this directly because it is present within the person class so just make sure p 
p dot just gave p dot db so create in a class object p dot db because we have mentioned self dot db is equal to self dot date of birth so that's where we can easily access with the display method now so save and when you execute this you will be able to see but again date of birth object is not callable why because we cannot call this we need to just initialize this that's where parentheses play a very vital role you see the result now date of birth is 26 12 because here when i have given the parentheses it is clearly throwing an error that is oops that is clearly mentioning you date of birth object is not callable you cannot call the object in that way instead you need to make sure again instead you need to make sure how do you give that object how do you pass that inner class object to any variable to make it more simple what i'll do is i'll just keep this comment and we'll see when i run this and let me try to give directory of x let's see when i give directory of x let's see what does it gives so it is giving you display method month now you can see now x dot date obviously you will see the date when you give and x dot mm you give month and x dot yy you see and x dot display this is possible that is the reason we are we should not call that thing with parenthesis that's where we are making mistake so you should be very careful why we shouldn't use parenthesis over there because we have already created this inner class within the person class because it is already initialized here with the help of constructor self.db is equal to self.databird and we are accessing the class here that is the main difference so whenever you try to see directory you can easily get the result now let's try to write the same program where we'll do some simple changes instead of directly writing here self.db is equal to self.databird why can't i access with the date of birth class object as sub object yes we can do that so i'll just copy the same program and we'll make some simple changes because i don't want to make the changes in the above program i'll just keep this program as comment and i'll write the same program below but i'll make some simple changes so first i'll write the comment because i wanted to make sure how do I create another version of this date of birth class? Because we need not directly write the object inside it. Because we have already defined the statement which is in the person class constructor that is self.db is equal to self.databirth class. If you do not write that, there is no relation, right? There is no relation between the outer class object and inner class object. Then how do we refer? Yes, we can refer, we can create an outer class object using dot operator then we mention the inner class object no need to worry if it is just if it is just confusing i'll just make it practical then you will be able to easily understand another version so another version of date of birth class because my intention is very simple when we are working on classes you need to be very much simpler and very much logical you can write the same program in another way within person class within person class as i said i'll just copy the same program but i just make some simple changes so i'll just remove this part because i don't want to create the outer class object i mean inner class object here i gave self dot name is equal to socket what i can do i can give this as inner class version 2.2 like chitty 2.0 <laughs> funny funny to say in the same way just give version 2.0 same display method and this is our inner class so constructor self dot date of birth everything i just change here because i don't want to create inner class object directly here but what i try to do is i create date of birth class because this will be familiar to you date of birth class object as sub object that's where we are creating sub object to what is our main class our main class is person class how do you refer it it's simple we just refer with x is equal to person because now when i execute this 
when I execute this, obviously you would see name is Sakit and when you give directory of P, you get date of birth display name because this is already present within this, right? So when you call that, do we see any result over there? You try. It. So when you give P dot, when I call DOB, it's a class, right? So when you call DOB, you don't see any result. You can see the class main. I mean, main is a script, which every time your Python program runs, it stores the name as main person as date of birth object. There's nothing, right? I'll use that logic where I create a date of birth class object. How do I refer? I refer x is equal to person or dot where I use my date of birth object here because date of birth is our class and I refer to this person class object. Now what we can do? We can clearly go ahead by mentioning directory of x. So when I give directory of x, we can clearly see date, month, year. So when you go for x.dd, you can see x.mm and x.yy. And when you go for x.display, you can clearly see the print over there, right? Date of birth is 26, 12, 19, very good. But I just do one more change here. When I call display method, I can do one simple thing. If I want to see the result directly over there, what I could do when I execute this name socket date of birth, you can clearly see even if you want to fetch only year, you can what you can do, you can just give print of already we have seen x dot y y. So when you save, what is the year you would like to get 1993 because already we have created this subclass object. So we have created date of birth class object as sub object. That's what we have done. So instead of writing within the main class as object, because generally we follow the above procedure, because whenever we try to create inner class object, they are created within the outer class only. But I just modified it where I just tried to create this date of birth class object as a sub object to our person class. So in that way we can access or we can also mention it above because if we don't know what we are trying to give, this is the best way. You can only check even if you remove this parenthesis, you see what is the result you try to get because you just verify yourself. Is there any difference over there? No, right? Because you have already mentioned x is equal to person, I mean p is equal to person class and x equal to person dot date of birth because j of b is your class and you're creating it as an object. So in that way, you try your own self. It will be very much fun. So that is how we have created a class within another class and understood how we can access the method. I mean the method is display method, the same method because there is no concept of overriding here because when we go for creating a class, I mean if class person and class data, but if it is super and subclass, then we have the concept of method overriding. We'll discuss when we go for inheritance concept. But it is simple, if we are writing a class within another class, how we can generally write the inner class object within the outer class and we have seen that thing in another way. But make it very simple, you need to have a very good definition of understanding class and object, then it will be easier for understanding any of the features of object-oriented programming.